Yep. So now I make a little dot, and I never count to sixes again, unless I'm retarded. Okay. Seven, 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 seven. Sevens are done too. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, 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 eight. Eights are done. So we're getting there. We're almost done. Is that if you have these two, one and three, and you have almost your line finished, there's going to be one right there. So one of these is a, is a one. Here's a two. One of these has to be a three. So the four, it's a five because that's what's missing. Here's a box that has eight numbers and you can fill it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, seven, eight, nine. And then the nine cuts across like this. Nine, here's another, and then it's right there. The nine cuts down right here, which means this is, this is sometimes when I do these and I haven't videotaped it, and I'm always thinking about doing a video on one of these, I'm always like, oh, this would really help somebody to know this. This, is, this situation right here, with the nines I'm about to say is like paramount to figuring the end of this puzzle. It's, it's such a good lucky thing that this happens. I don't even know what good lucky means, but I just invented it and Shakespeare invented the word assassin, so I'm inventing good lucky. Okay, nine comes down and the nine is definitely in this row, which means that when you come across, see that nine, obviously can't be there. And that's how you figure out the end of these two, because in this box right here, you have one, two, you know, your three is in here somewhere, um, your four is, who the hell knows, four is in here somewhere, five, six, seven, eight, if the nine is in this column right here, it can't be in this box, so it has to be down here, which means it cuts across and takes that nine out. It can, this nine, this box cannot be a nine. It cannot, cannot be a nine because the nine is over here. Period. End of story. You don't have to think about it much more than that. So the nine goes like that. The one goes like that. Good. There's the one come across. The one is there. I think we no, we didn't finish the ones yet. Okay. Okay, let's count this one. It looks like it's almost done. One, two, three. Oh, okay, good. In this row, the three can't be any one of these, obviously. The three can't be here because it's right there. And it can't be here because we already established that it's only these two, right? So you can already, in your mind, you can skip that box because it's here. You already found it. So in this row, the three can't be here, it can't be here. There it is. So I scribble it out so I don't get confused. It's not a nine anymore. So out of these two, which one's the nine? Um, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Found a four. Here's a four, here's a four. It's gotta be in these two. This is it. It's a five. So double check. Five goes there, which means five comes down here. I wonder if somebody watching this video who's like never done a Sudoku before could actually do a hard one knowing how to do this. Because if you know these steps and you know these methods and these little tricks that I do, I think anybody could do it. It's just that when you're new, you don't know these tricks, but I've learned them because I just sit there and do a billion of these. One, two, this one's a three. And this is also a three because the three is there and the three is there. It has to be there. For the most part, I get all of my Sudokus right. I very rarely make a mistake on these unless I'm like going fast or not paying attention or just don't give a crap. One, two, three, four. Okay. So see how we haven't really used a four, so we know we can look up here. Well, I do anyways. The four cuts through, can't be there, so four and a one, and that's how I get rid of my one, I make like a crappy zigzag, but, okay, so the one, two, you're done, okay, well, I'm done, I don't know why you say you, 
here's another row and another row with only one number left. So you can count it out or whatever, but I'll just count it. One, two, three. This one's a four, because also just to make sure you're not duplicating anything. Four, four, it has to be in the middle. Four. Um, four, four, four. Okay, and then in this row, one, two, three, four, it's a five, because also like that. Also, you know that's a five because the one and the three are here, and that's the only thing that's left. A whole bunch of ways, so now we're almost done. Um, oh, and I didn't see that before, but like once you get on a roll, there'll be a lot of things that you can do. There'll be a lot of answers that you can fill in right away, so it's just a matter of coming to them eventually. So since the one is here, the one has to be there, and the three has to be there, because this is only one and a three. And I just get rid of those just because... I'm ridiculous. Okay. This one is almost done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's always a nine. The nine cuts across and up, so the nine is there. And since one of these is a one, and um, hello, it's already almost done. Uh, I'm so snotty, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. This one's almost done. One, two, it's a three. And since we said that in this row, there was a four and a nine, and the nine's right there, this one's a four. Which means that you've got these fours right here. Oh, I would have been done with this so much faster, but I like to explain it just in case somebody would benefit from knowing this. So that means that the four is down here, I went down one, two, three, four, okay, five. And look, two boxes left. Out one, two, three. And then last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, a nine. Because I counted from one. Okay, and that's it. If you have any more questions or whatever, you can um, just ask me or. Um, Tell me to make another video, say, oh, your video sucked, and make another one. I don't care. I'll do it again. I do hundreds of these puzzles. I do, I'd say I probably do um, five or ten a day. I don't know why. I just I have a lot of time on my hands, and I only work at night. So, um, yeah. If anybody wants to get to know more about me, um, I am a photographer professionally. You can go to rottenmen.com. That's my portfolio. And um, I also have alistpictures.com, which is my other company that I designed. And um, I'm an artist. I draw. I went to Florida. Oop, I got a text. I went to Florida Atlantic University. Um, I got a bachelor in um, fine arts with a major in graphic design. Um, kind of a smart girl, I guess. Single. And um, maybe I'll make another video about my single problems if anybody gives a crap. Obviously you don't have to watch the whole video. Is, I'm probably making this video more for my friends just to like send them like a cool shout out or whatever. Hi. But um, whatever. You could have stopped the video a long time ago. I don't know why you're still watching. If you don't like the video, turn it off. Oh, what's my favorite video on YouTube is Nom Nom Nom. I love that video. If you haven't already seen it, which like I don't know a million people have already, it's so fun. It's my favorite one. So look up nom nom nom. All right, look at Rose. Rose, you're very cute. <laughs> look at your fuzzy little ears. You're so cute. Hey, Lil. <laughs> Hi, honey. I woke you up. I know. I'm sorry. But you're very cute. Oh, that's another thing I want to get on video. Rose has the longest tongue when she yawns. Let's see if I can make her yawn. Rose, yawn. Oh, Lily yawned. Rose, you have very fuzzy ears. Very fuzzy. Rose, did you, did you go out and play today? Did you go out and play? Did you run around? I think you ran around. Did you? Did you <laughs> You're funny. Mm.